This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Freddie Gibbs uh, has some stuff to say. He says, go get Wale new album tonight, even though he took me off of it. I guess the guy got to put me on the deluxe. Now, uh, Wale responds. Oh, he says, then he, goes, he said, I guess I'm going to be on. <laughs> he said, I guess I'm going to be on floor in three. <laughs> Not Florin too, because like Florin won, what did that come out, four years ago? So uh, while I say Gibbs be lying, Mark Ronson ain't clear it yet. But also Mark want us to do a project together. But FG would rather be Twitter, honey, crazy. What does Mark Ronson have to do with this? Is it a Mark Ronson song? Mark Ronson said, I haven't been this relevant in years. Also, Wale album is flames. Um, What does Mark Ronson have to do with this? <laughs> Is it a remix of a Mark Ronson song or something? I don't know. Um, anyways, that was funny. Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard. Okay, so it looks like like Davis comes over and like grabs Dwight Howard's arms, and then Dwight Howard's like twisting himself out of it, and then they start an altercation. This is so goofy. <laughs> you know, you could sign the super team, right? But you know, Westbrook's there, LeBron, everybody's there, right? But if they don't get along, this ain't going to work. So they got a problem. They got a problem. They got a problem in L.A. All right. Then we got Polo G. I got to skip around for this one. So, like, his ex-girl is saying, like, I was sitting here putting up with infidelity, and my soulmate was a girl. I knew it. Jeez. Polo G did this girl so bad, she went to women. Jazz be doing ish. I've been begging for her with ease. That's because she's a woman and she knows exactly what you need. Ain't coming up off her ever. You guys will be broken up in a few years. Sorry. Uh, we'll get to this in a second. Then uh, Polo G's mom. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw. Um, there was a guy in a store and he pulled out his yearbook and like Polo G was in the yearbook at a private school, right? There's nothing wrong. I never thought Polo G was a gangster. Did you? I never looked at him like, hey, that's a gangster. I just thought he was, like, from Chicago and, like, is a rapper. And he's good. Well, his mom comes out and says, loud and wrong. My children have never attended private schools. The photo is uh, from a brief time at the Air Force Academy, a Chicago public high school. It's unfortunate that people speak to speak on individuals they do not know and outright lie and attempt. I mean... What is this? Discrediting him? It doesn't matter if he went to private school. <laughs> I know people in the hood that have gone to private school. Okay, like, they, they, like it doesn't matter. Like, you know what I mean? Then it's like, uh, in fact, I would be impressed if he went to private school. And 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 he sounds like he's very well read in his verses and everything. I don't know if you guys picked up on that, but it sounds like he's like very intelligent. Not saying you have to go to private school to be intelligent, but I'm just saying it seems like he's like a Wayne. Like he, not 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 comparing him to little Wayne, but you know how Wayne like like he's super smart, but also will give you the most ignorant music at the same time. You know, like seems like that kind of character. Uh, God bless them and their inadequacies. I mean, rappers like have these. They feel like they have to fit into a stereotype when they don't. You know, like. Maybe back in the day, but not now. Then people say, uh, y'all laugh because his mom was able to afford private school, but if it was a mugshot, he would be cool and look like I agree with this woman. She, and then uh, Polo G's mom responds, thank you, queen. Thing is, is I have wanted my children to attend private schools. At the time, I couldn't afford it. This photo is from when Polo attended the Air Force Academy, a Chicago public high school. <laughs> I don't see why it's such a big deal. So remember that uh, remember that clubhouse thing with Meek Mill and academics, and Meek Mill was so mad at academics for uh, posting Poundside Pop, who was kind of signed to Meek briefly or down with Meek briefly, and then went on his own and like been dissing Meek. Well, Poundside Pop linked with DJ Drama for a new single, and in the beginning of the new single, this is very interesting. DJ Drama's like they tried to keep us out. But we're here now. The only person you could be talking to is Meek Mill. Meek Mill was trying to keep Poundside Pop out of the game because he's dissing them. And Poundside, it sounds like a good single, but Academics posted it, and I thought they had a truce. So Meek Mill's going to be tight. <laughs> 
And does DJ Drama not like Meek Mill anymore after the Drake thing? Because uh, the whole reason DJ Drama leaked those reference tracks to Meek Mill, let's just be honest about it, is because Drake was smashing his ex-wife or ex-girlfriend. Some or something. DJ Drama was just being petty, man. Everybody has their petty moments. Even uh, you know, me, you, we all got our petty moments. Quavo. Quavo confirms that every, all the Migos will be dropping singles soon for their solo projects. We're doing this again? I thought we, I thought we saw, said this wasn't really working. I thought we were going to go back to just... So is this a Quavo single with Young Miami? Or is this a Young Miami single with Quavo? I'm confused. But you know, that you you've seen the footage of that. There's a there's a single out, there's a video with Quavo and Young Miami. That'd be interesting. Um I wonder what he's saying to Drake here. Drake's probably like, hey man. <laughs> Those are my glasses. Uh Young Thug wants to make Slime City solar powered. Good luck, bro. You're gonna have to have so many batteries there. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. Uh, Elon Musk says, "Talk to me in private." That's pretty interesting. I'd love to hear that conversation. That should be a public combo, not private. Uh, did we miss anything in here? I think that's it. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.